Hey, what's up everybody? It is DJ Jer here with Shop Time. Today I want to discuss the Electrovoice ETX-12P or any of the Electrovoice line and some of the things within the DSP um, just so you can understand the management of how the signal is being sent, how it's distributed through this cabinet, going to the next cabinet, and so on. And the reason I want to have this video is because we've actually ran into this where we were kind of questioning, okay, how does this happen if we turn this down and what happens to the next cabinet and so on. So what we ended up doing was uh, we did a little we did a little work and um, actually contacted Electro Voice for some help. Again, great customer service, always there to help me out anytime I have questions. But the question was uh, when we duck down, you have the uh, and actually once you come on move on in here. The question was when you actually go into these uh, the master volume and also these inputs here. Um, exactly what is it controlling and um, what we were running into was you know if we were turning the volume down on this cabinet because it was too loud uh, we did a big outdoor event and we had our ETX and EKX everywhere throughout the entire event and we wanted to make sure that it wasn't too loud in certain areas but was also um, loud enough in other areas so what was happening or what we needed to do is turn the volume down on this cabinet but yet still need the full strength of signal going to the other cabinets so here's kind of what we figured out. This master volume right here that you see with the DSP, this master volume will control this cabinet only. Okay, so if I turn this one down, I'm going to go 23 dB down and my signal right here going out to the next speaker over here is not being changed at all. So it's still getting the same amount of signal and it's not dimming it down. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now, if I would adjust the input, which is the volume for this microphone that I've hooked up, if I would adjust this input here, it's going to affect this cabinet, and it's also going to affect every single cabinet that goes out from that speaker. So my second speaker is also going to be affected. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna grab a microphone and walk you through exactly the the, uh, the input levels and also the master volume levels and how it affects each cabinet. Okay, so right now I have our microphone and the speakers, uh, I have both set to zero dB. Now, as soon as, and that's, that's zero decibels, just in case you're not familiar with dBs. Uh, zero decibels on this unit right here. My microphone is plugged in to input one, which is controlled by this one right here, this volume knob. And when I adjust this volume knob, if I go up, you're going to hear not just this cabinet go up, but you're going to hear this cabinet go up in volume as well. Now, to show you, because maybe you didn't notice the difference there, but as soon as I dim this down and I take it all the way down to, to uh, negative infinity, which is basically mute, basically turning it off, now you're not going to hear any volume coming from this box or this box. So again, this volume knob is controlling this cabinet and everything else after this cabinet, okay? So I'm gonna put this back at zero dB. Now they're both getting the same amount of signal, same amount of loudness. This one is set to zero dB on its master volume, okay? So this knob on the back of that one is set to zero dB. As soon as I control this one, which is going to control just this cabinet, it's going to turn up this cabinet here, but it's not going to turn up that cabinet. And also vice versa, if I turn this down, I'm going to turn down this cabinet, but I'm not turning down that cabinet. So again, the main master volume is specifically for that cabinet. The line, uh, the line input is this cabinet and every cabinet that it's connected to after that. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can reach me at jeremy at djjrshoptime.com. Again, it's jeremy at djjrshoptime.com. You can also comment in the comments below. Uh, again, the reason this is important to know is if you're using multiple units. We used, I think, eight total of the EV, uh, the Electrovoice ETX and EKX, and we needed certain volumes in certain areas um, to be different. So make sure you're doing it correctly. If you have questions beyond this or any comments, Feel free to reach out to me again. It's Jeremy at DJJRShopTime.com or comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.